Hello everyone, welcome in. Today we are playing April the 24th from Emeka Games. Every game we played from these guys has been incredible, so this is um, another one that I haven't played yet, so I'm excited about it. I'm gonna go straight in. And Miss Miss a Kitty, thank you so much for the tier one sub. That's a brand new sub, welcome in. Thank you so much for your support. Enjoy your ad free viewing and your emotes, and thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate it. Okay, chapter one. Oh, ugh, brother, ugh, what's with the uh, motion blur? Is that post-processing or anti- Oh, uh, why does it look like that when we're turning? Oh, is it because the max FPS is down? Oh, that's already so much better. That's already so much better. I think it was because it was on 60 FPS. Okay. Any instructions? Any- anything? No. Right. Let's just explore then. We got a heater. Also, what the hell is this room? Is this our bedroom? We've got a heater, a bed with no duvet, no blanket, which is horrendous. Um, we've got an axe and an alarm clock. And a cross over our bed. Damn, the graphics in it's really weird being able to walk around in this game after playing a point and click horror game for the last two streams. I feel so free. I can look everywhere and walk everywhere. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a run button, so this is There is a crouch. No jump. No no run. Why is there so much blood on that teddy? That's what I'm thinking. Oh! Oh no, does that mean there's a child in this house? <laughs> it could have been worse. It could have been a child. Holy, that really scared me. Okay, we've just come out of a very unscary, unjump scary game. And we've gone straight into one that's very jump scary apparently. Oh, I was eating crisps, they are now everywhere. What flavor crisps though? Um okay, what are we supposed to do? We <gasps> Hello? Or maybe bonjour, hola. Uh, she shouldn't have done that in your bed. Who did what in my bed? She deserves to be punished. Oh wait, I thought like it was gonna be like pooping or peeing in the bed. It was the the thing that the the hawk. Dear Ben, you've been living in the basement for months and haven't come out. You're going crazy and dragging us all along. The kids and I don't understand what's going on with you. You've become aggressive and you're talking, you're taking all your anger out on us. Alice is sick. It's hard for her to live in that, such an environment. And Jacob is still too young and I don't want him to get hurt. Know that we have the right to live without you. I tried to discuss everything with you in a normal setting, but you don't make contact. I just want you to know that we have someone who will take care of us. All you have to do is let us go. Let us do this. Sincerely, Evelyn. No, not the hawk. No, not the hawk. No, chat like the. What's the the thing? The hawk that like delivers the babies. The the gull or the seagull or whatever it is. Is it a seagull? What's that thing that delivers the babies? The stork. That's it. <laughs> seagull. Okay, it's three a.m. Isn't that the? Is it? Th is, is it 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. that's considered the witching hour? I can never remember if it's 3 or... <gasps> can you... Stop? It's 3 a.m. Also, guys, there's a Blair Witch Project game. I feel like I knew that and forgot that it existed, but the Blair Witch was actually really scary. I should try the game. The Blair Witch movie was really scary, is what I meant. Oh, yeah, I actually think that's what happened. I think we spoke about it years ago, and someone was, 
I think people were just like, it's a really bad game, so we never played it. <laughs> I think that's actually what happened, yeah, because I was... I saw Kaide streaming it, and I was like, wait, there's a Blair Witch game, and we haven't played it? But then in the back of my mind, I was like, wait, but I think I knew there was a Blair Witch game. So I think we are Ben, that the letter was addressed to. Oh my god. And we're being sent off on a mission by this awful puppet guy, whatever he is. He's telling us we need to go and kill someone for doing the the no good, the the, the damn right dirty, the sin in our bed. This house feels so familiar. <laughs> I swear, if there isn't a mod that has my back right now, I can't go on. I need security. I have been shot at so many times this stream. And all the mods have vanished. When I needed them most, and I've been shot at multiple times, they're not here. Mark the Mantis, thank you so much for the bits. When the mods are here, I will make sure they hear about this, and you will be banned. Or, okay, at least timed out and removed for the day, you know? I don't know where I'm oh, it sounded like the door opened down here. Have I played Samsara's room? No. Can you check that in the... Suggestions on Discord, please. <laughs> Fuck. It sounds like people might be doing the... My name is Sean Miller. I'm conducting a journalistic investigation of the brutal murder on the outskirts of the city that occurred on April 24th. I want to find out the true case of this crime and find answers to all the questions. Chapter 3, Observer. crime scene tape here. Oh! Jesus, there's so many VHS cassettes here. Thank you so much for the... I'm actually not going to even try and remake that noise. I don't know how the hell I made that noise. K-Dog owns my heart. Thank you so much for the... What? Wait. Am I supposed to press play? What are we supposed to do? We can't leave the room. Can't turn out the light. Huh. Oh! Oh, there's a handprint on that drawer. Is that a bloody handprint, potentially? On April 24th, a brutal murder took place in a house on the outskirts of the city. A man killed his entire family with an axe. The accused himself himself called the police and was arrested on the spot. The man testifies and says that he was influenced by a certain man in a hat and that he forced him to commit the crime. The police have no further comment. We will monitor developments in this case. Interesting. What now? Pieces of me. Jesus, what the fuck? What is this gonna be? What's that banging? Koji, do you need help? Yes, I severely do. Oh, Jesus.
Can we not use the... I ASAP serve. I literally know that's you. I know that's you. I know that's you. I hate... I, like, my brain just couldn't figure that one out there. Um, I wish we could use the candle. Yo, thank you so much for the hype train, by the way, chat. Let's go. Thank you. I miss Phasmo. I do miss it. I just... What the fuck? I don't understand who we're playing as right now. I don't know if we're playing as the murderer. <clears throat> I don't know if we're playing as the murderer or whether we're playing as the investigator. I'm not entirely sure. Need to look for a knife. Could we not just burn it with our lighter? <gasps> what the fuck? That baby's like almost not human. I. What's going on? Um, thank you so much for the hype train, by the way. I just saw it's a level two hype train. It's... <gasps> what? What the... Hell? We should have played Fields of Mysteria chat. We could have been playing a cozy Stardew Valley-esque game right now. And instead, we're putting ourselves through this. Oh, knife! Get out of here. No, you get out of here! Sorry. I couldn't help myself. Why is it so... Why is that so slow? Why did that take so long? I really did. I just didn't enjoy that. I hated the noise. I hated how slow it was. That really was horrible. I made my tongue feel weird. I made my hands feel tingly. That's some weird, weird noises in this game. Sound like someone eating a gobstopper. <laughs> <gasps> what on earth is this? <laughs> I can't turn, I can't even turn. And now they're gone. They have to be children. It's so funny how similar so many games in horror games. So <laughs> Exactly what I'm trying to say. So many games in horror games that, um, do you know what I mean, chat? What just came crashing down? Am I, what's, what, why are we in this room? What is, what is here? <gasps> crowbar. It's always the crowbar. Is that rust or blood? <laughs> Literally didn't finish this sentence and asks, you know what I mean? I'll be honest guys, I haven't taken my ADHD medication in a couple of weeks. I think I've actually been doing incredibly well without it lately, so I'm very impressed with myself. And I was actually intentionally asking if you knew what I meant because I didn't say anything. I promise. I was just going to say it's so funny how similar so many games in horror... So many... So many games... 
Am I having a stroke? What am I saying? It's so in... <laughs> Do you know what I mean, chat? It's so interesting how many houses in horror games look the same. I feel like I've been in this house a hundred times. I hate that we're like heading towards this spirit right now or whatever the heck it is. It's definitely a lot scarier than the last game we played. A lot scarier. Oh god. Does anyone suffer from insomnia when the ADHD is bad? I feel like I'm getting it's getting worse as I get older. I'm actually very lucky. I had really bad insomnia in my like late childhood, early teens, and even late teens. But as I've got older, mine has got better. So I'm very lucky for that. But yes, I always like described my insomnia as like anxiety induced insomnia. But now I just know it was my ADHD and just. <gasps> my ADHD brain being so fucking crazy at night that I just couldn't sleep. It just races so fast and then it makes me anxious. My children are asleep. Please trigger warning for children. <laughs> Hi PK man. I hope you're doing great. I'm getting extra immersed in this creepiness. I can hear humming. Creepy humming. Oh, God. There's noises behind me, but I couldn't turn around. I hate that. scared. I'm genuinely scared. Rope. Hammer. What? What does that mean? We need to go to the basement and get rope and a hammer? We get to the basement. I am watching you. Oh, my God. I need to come past. I, I I need to come past. What the fuck? Let me past. What am I supposed to do? I do. I, guys, I'm actually not even going to lie. I know you're saying the goblin voice in this game sounds like me, and I actually genuinely agree. The first time I heard it, I was like, holy shit, I literally sounds like me. <laughs> I 
Yes, my neck's okay. I'm not fucking 90 years old, guys. Thank you for checking. I'll literally wake up tomorrow and be like, bro, I must have slept so bad on my neck last night. <laughs> but I can't look over my shoulder. Dupe. Dupe. I see that kappa. Tie the ropes to the doors. Oh. Why? Oh my god! I don't even know if I want to do this. Oh, this is fucking horrendous. What the hell? I need to find a cross and put it on the coffin. This is horrible. What the fuck? Okay, there's a... On the top left... Uh, on the top left shelf, there's a red book. On the bookshelf. But we need a cross as well, right? I swear there was a cross, like, here. Oh, the safe is open. God. I like the doing the laundry dryer cycle music. Wait, you're so fucking bright as well. You're so right. There's the cross. Oh, hi, little baby. <laughs> Alice, mum, he... He, Jacob. Maybe me? Alice, Mom, No, because it's an adult. Oh, it says in the top right corner, he. Yeah, Alice, Mom, he, Jacob. The fuck? <laughs> no. You're gonna die. It does sound a bit like me. Fucking hell. Chapter 5, The Touch of Evil. <sighs> Laundry's done? I don't think it is. I, I think I can still hear it in the background. Just... That sounds like someone's nails against the door and it's fucking freaking me out. Need to lock the door with a chair. Okay. On it. Oh, God. Hey, little guy. Yeah. I'm so... Hi. Oh, chat, please. I'm actually home alone. Don't. I'm fucking... Don't. Please, chat. Holy shit. EMDC, thank you for the bits. That is... horrific. That is absolutely horrific. So I'm not really understanding, like... Oh my god, there's rats everywhere. So, in the start of this game, the guy was like, she did that in your bed, you need to go and kill her. 
But then there's like a mum and... What did the sign say mum and... Mum and... Did, did it say mum and dad? It didn't, right? So who, who were we as the killer? We were the son? We were Ben. Oh, did it... It said mum, dad, he, Jacob. Oh, it said mum, dad, he, Jacob. Oh, wait, I'm really confused. Like... The, did the very first letter, it spoke to us like we were the son? Or the husband? I'm so confused. Oh, it said Mum Alice He Jacob. Mum Alice He Jacob. Oh. <gasps> so it isn't husband. So maybe we were. Maybe we were the husband and our wife was cheating when we, when he, he was like, she did this in your bed or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's the case. I think we're the husband, and the mum was seeing someone new, and the, the dad was a complete fucking psycho and couldn't take it. I can open this door with a bolt cutter. Do we not? We don't have one. Okay, we need a key, and we need a bolt cutter. Do we... What do we think, chat, about the possibility, and hear me out here, just think about this for a second. Before we get too um, tunnel visioned on one killer, one arc, one like, this is, this is the person that did it. Do we think there is actually a possibility here that this was done by owls? And the owls are framing the, hus the husband. I just want to like make sure that this is like an open investigation and we're not uh, tunnel visioning on the person at the start of the game that was told to kill them with an axe and then went upstairs with an axe. I just want to make sure that there is no, yeah, there's no foul play. Uh, there's no foul or owl play. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, I said earlier, stacked owls with a top hat. You think the guy at the start of the game, the like, mannequin guy was just a load of owls wearing a top hat and they were stacked on top of each other. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Okay. I saw popcorn. The neighbors must be having popcorn or something. That smells so good. Oh, 3C, 3C. 3C. Wait, 3C. Three 3C. It's me so having popcorn downstairs. <laughs> Koji's best mod. Yeah. We done knew that chat. What the fuck? Oh my. Oh my God, 4A. 3C chat, 4A. So who's that? I can only assume it was the person... I mean, he's got like an axe wound on him, so it's probably the person the mother was seeing. 3C4A. 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 Three 3B. 3C4A. 3B. Three 
5D. 3C, 3B, 4A, 5D, right? Oh, that's he. 4A, 3B, 3C, 5D. Thank you so much. Oh. 4, 3, 3, 5. Nice! That opened the safe. Wait. Is this a letter? Dear Ben, I can't live like this anymore. I want to get a divorce and sell the house. My torment has become unbearable. And I need the freedom. Please give me the opportunity to start a new chapter in my life. Sincerely, Evelyn. Oh. <gasps> what is it, he? Oh, Jesus! Oh, thank you so much. My God. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Julia. Um. Oh, wait, I'm actually really nervous now. I don't think so. I think everything's totally fine, but let me just go check the house really quickly because that's actually really serious. Chat, I'm just going to go check because a smell of popcorn. It has gone. The smell has gone, but apparently it could be something to do with like electrical damage. Electrical fire. So, um, thank you so much. I'm going to use this really quick moment to say if you have not taken your meds or your vitamins yet today, please remember to do that. You can go do that now. Go make sure you're hydrated, got snacks, take a little stretch, take a little break from your screen. Remember, guys, if you are able to, stretch and move your body. Crazy how the game you're playing is the day you started streaming. I lied, it's not, but it's the day before. Wait, that is actually crazy, though. Hi, King Nick. Good to see you. I hope you're good. Okay, chat, I'm going to go check because basically, if you didn't know, my house flooded. Um, really, really badly. Mere days ago. And apparently the smell of popcorn could be something like an electrical fire. Fl fire. And the dogs are downstairs, so I'd rather just be safe than sorry. So give me two seconds. I'm just going to go check the house, make sure there's no weird smoke or anything going on. You guys, keep us alive, okay? Um, let me put on some music for you guys. It is Friday, after all. What better music on a Friday night to get lit to than some Animal Crossing lo-fi? I'll be right back. Okay, chat, I have officially searched the house. I don't see anything smoking or anything. I don't see or smell popcorn around the house. I genuinely think my neighbors were probably just having popcorn, but I do think it's just way better to be safe than sorry. And also, the dogs are downstairs, so I can't... I wouldn't have been able to relax thinking, what if there is actually an electrical fire in the house? So thank you for letting me know. I also went downstairs and got one of these. The dogs are great. We just had a big cuddle and a kiss. They're so fucking cute. Okay. Um, the dogs are actually having their big nap. They went for a big walk today. And they are in <laughs> the downstairs room in their beds. And they've got classical FM blasting in there. And they're both really sleepy. And they're just very content. <laughs> if the dogs come up here, the problem is... Um, they will just, anytime they hear the door, they'll start barking. But if they're down there, they'll actually be okay. So... It's just easier that way. Uh, all right, let's finish this game. And then I'm probably going to have to go because I think we're going to finish this game in perfect time for it to be the dog's dinner time anyway, so. Um, Hedge, thank you so much for the 32 months, by the way. Says, hi, chat. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Hedge. I hope you're doing great. Let's get back into the game. Man and his woman. <laughs> time to die. Battle Until Death. Wow, that is an interesting book collection for sure. This game is called April 24, but the date is April 28. Can you explain that? Yeah, this game was made this game was made four days ago. They gave me exclusive access. Crowbars in there again. Didn't we have the key for the door up here? 
Wait, what? My boyfriend just proposed? Is that real? There's no way Ari would lie about that. There's no way you'd lie about that. Ari, that is... I'm pausing the game. That is just huge. That is more important than this game. Ari, congratulations. That is absolutely incredible. Wow, on a Friday as well? That's incredible. Friday vibes and a proposal. Congratulations. That is amazing news. I am so happy for you. I hope you guys have the best weekend after that as well. You guys are so sweet in chat saying congratulations as well. Man, chat, listen. I, I, I need you to know this. I really fucking love and adore this community so much. You are literally the best people in the world. If you are here right now and you're in the chat, I need you to know. Or if you're watching this somewhere else and you're part of this community, I need you to know you are literally the best people in the world. And I'm so thankful for you guys restoring my faith in humanity and proving that there really are just wonderful people out there still. Sometimes it's hard to remember. Uh, when everything's so negative all the time, it's actually really hard to remember sometimes that there's really good people still out there. So thank you for being great people. Back to a horror game about murder. There's something behind the door. I need to find something to open it with. God. Oh, that's just so grim. That's actually one of the grimmest things I've ever seen in a horror game. Oh, bolt cutters. A leaf from the diary. Dear diary, mum and dad were fighting again today. If I wasn't a burden, I could help them with little Jacob. He requires a lot of attention and I give them a lot of trouble. It hurts me so much to look at them and see how they suffer because me and... I don't know why, I just that follow alert just popped up and I thought something really bad was happening. I felt like it was part of the game. It follows... Wait, hold on. He requires a lot of attention and I give them a lot of trouble. It hurts me so much to look at them and see how they suffer because of me and Jacob. What? It hurts me so much to look at them and see how they suffer because of me and Jacob. If I hadn't been there, my parents would have been much happier. They wouldn't have to worry about my health. I feel useless and unnecessary, and I would like them to be but I would like to be the best daughter for them. And it's from Alice. Wait, so that's from Alice, who was also in that child's drawing, dead. I mean, I, this is Alice, isn't it, here? Jesus Christ. Wait, what are the... Oh, the bolt cutters are for the locks, the door lock, I guess. Wait, what are the bolt cutters for? Ah. Oh. This is the room with the crowbar in, I think. Lovely. Nah. This game is such a bitch for that. This game keeps, like, locking our camera into the item or thing we're interacting with and then playing horrible noises behind us and it doesn't let us look around. I hate it. It's so scary. And then I get... <gasps> it's just a mannequin. It's just a mannequin. It's not even a big deal. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. That wasn't even the knocking sound alert. That was actually in the game. It sounded, ex it sounded exactly the same. Carrying the the murder weapon again. Also, we have an axe and we can't get past this little bit of fucking tape. What is that all about? 
yeah, the sound design in this game is really good. I've got my headphones on so fucking loud right now. And every single sound is really creepy. But really, like, good quality. What the fuck? Fuck. Chapter 7, there is no way out. That's me streaming. This game's like Parasocial from Chiller's Art. I said, there's no way out, it's your turn to make a move. So when do the owls come in? Um... The windows. We need to check the windows. Oh. Crowbar. Ugh. What the? Where have you gone? It's like a little crab. What? What? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm telling you now, guys. If you do not have your headphones turned up and you want to enjoy this game to the next level, turn your headphones really loud because this is so, so terrifying. That just scared your cat. Okay, now, well, now I just feel bad. That's the other reason I don't like having the dogs up here when I'm playing horror games because Misa gets really upset when I make loud noises. He thinks something's wrong. Get off me! Literally. Literally, Tari. Do it. Oh, <gasps> what? Where are? Where are we? Thank you for the bits, Taru. Hi, Taru. What? What? Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Make it stop. Stop, stop, stop. What am I supposed to do? Chat. Trigger warning incoming, I believe. Not that this whole game hasn't been a trigger warning in general. I've completed this investigation, but unfortunately I will not be able to publish it. This house is a source of madness. It has consumed me. Oh wait, we're the investigator journalist right now. I wanted to find the truth, but instead I found death. It's it's all about the man in the hat. He oppresses his victims and makes them do terrible things. Ben recorded everything on tapes. I saw that man forcing Ben to kill his wife for cheating, but it wasn't enough for him. He continued to stalk him until Ben killed his entire family. Now I'm his next victim and I can't stand up to him, Sean Miller. Wait, I really thought the man in the hat was just like a mental health thing or like, you know, I don't know, some kind of schizophrenia or like something. I didn't... I didn't see this being the way this story goes. Uh, wait, okay, trigger warning incoming chat. Is that it?
I'm just gonna say it. Amika Games make really good games. I've loved every single game they've played. Uh, every single game I've played from them. This game fucking sucks. And you can't just put rock music at the end of the game and make people think they've had an awesome time. This game just actually sucked. I'm not rocking out with you guys right now. I'm not rocking with it. Yeah, this was gnarly, awesome nar nar. I'm so sorry. This game actually did suck. I'm disappointed with this one, but I still enjoyed playing it at the time, I guess. Wait, maybe this game was good, actually. Wait, this game was fucking awesome. <laughs> This game was fucking awesome. <laughs> Wait. It was just like a hidden ending if you stayed to watch the credits, I think. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be honest. I was actually a little bit disappointed with that one. I like, I had fun when I was playing it, but I just think like that story sucked and that game just was underwhelming. That was underwhelming. Considering their games have been so good. Like every single game I played from Amico, I've loved. But I mean, one mid game in a sea of really good games is, is fine, I guess. It didn't, it, yeah, it just didn't really feel like it was, it just felt like, I don't know.